Good morning. Welcome to Chemical World. Today we discuss about chapter 1 matter around us. Daily in our life we will see so many things around us like human beings like us, your friends, parents, different objects like, like books, bags, tables, vehicles, many things we see and we don't understand that why we have different things in our life, why we have different objects in our life. Not only that, we will see some other, other type of things like metals, non-metals, acids, bases, synthetic, natural, natural substances, like so many things we see and what we call all these things. So in science, these are called matter, this matter. So then, what is matter? Matter means an object, matter means in a box, matter, matter means a metal, matter means a non-metal, then what? Matter is anything, anything we are seeing around us is matter. So matter is defined as anything which occupies, which occupies space and having mass that is matter look at me i'm occupying some some of the space in the world and i have some mass so i am matter see this chalk piece it is also occupying some space and it is also having some mass so this is also a matter like the, anything you're seeing around you is matter the next question comes in your mind. What is matter made of? It's a very philosophical question. Many scientists gave different types of explanations for it. If you just check the histories before 1900, there is one, there is one type of definition of matter. After 1900 year, you have another definition of matter. So let me tell you a brief history of science. Before 1900, all the scientists were thought that the indivisible part in the universe is atom. So they thought that matter is made of atoms. So atom is the very smallest particle exists in the universe. One fine day, one scientist named Bulgeman, he called all the scientists of the world and he conducted a public meeting. He organized a public meeting and he addressed the gathering and said that atom is not the indivisible particle. You can divide the atom also. Inside the atom some, some, some more indivisible things are existing and everybody laughed at him because all in those days all the scientists who believed that atom is the only the indivisible part. So they didn't believe him. At least they didn't respect him. They laughed at him. So then he disappointed so much and he went to his hotel and all the night he didn't sleep and early morning he hanged himself. So later after his death after after two years another scientist came forward and he published research paper also and he was just 26 years old and he was a famous scientist in the history of science and he is none other than Einstein. So Einstein published research paper about uh, uh, the indivisible particles inside the matter and his research paper named as Brownian motion. So the Brownian motion explained very clearly that uh, atoms can be divisible and inside the atom some indivisible particles are existing. Then the scientists, remaining scientists are started doing research work on those things and today we know that atom consists of nucleus around nucleus we have electrons which are particles and inside the nucleus somehow you have particles like protons and neutrons so all these particles are very very small than atom so before 1900 everybody gave the definition of matter that matter is made of atoms but today we are saying that matter is made of material particles so I can give another statement of the matter it is made of 
material particles. So in that way, matter which occupies space and having mass or matter is made of material particles, both the definitions of matter. So we understand that matter is made of material particles. Yes, we also know that matter is having different shape, different sizes. Matter comes with different textures. If you see the human beings, we, we are in different sizes, different properties, different behavior, different colors. If you see the different objects, you have different sizes and different textures. So why are the different objects having different shapes and sizes with the different structures? We should know. So before going to those properties to understand, first of all, you know that how many types of material or the matter we having, we are having. And that is nothing but states of matter. Generally, we say we have three states of matter or matter existing in three states. Number one, solid state. Number two, liquid state. Number three, gas. You know that. Yes, it is gaseous state. So generally we have three types of states. But recently scientists were discovered that we have fourth state of matter. And that fourth state of matter is plasma. Plasma is semi-solid semi-liquid. Okay. In your course, you don't have plasma state. Just for information, I'm telling you, plasma state can be achieved at very high, very, very high temperatures. Like plasma states are existing at the center of the sun. You, as you know that sun releases huge amount of energy in the form of heat and light. And because of that, our earth existing. And do you know that how the sun is releasing the huge amount of heat and light to the earth? It's only because of a nuclear reaction happening in the center of the sun. And that nuclear reaction is called nuclear fusion. And that nuclear fusion happens at a very, very high temperature around 10 to the power of 9 Kelvin. So in that state, the matter exists in plasma. So today scientists were artificially, they were, they were successful to find the plasma state artificially and they're trying to create the same type of fusion process on the earth also so that they want to produce the huge amount of electricity to the world. We are coming back to the other three states. This is our the states of discussion. Solid state, liquid state and gaseous state. Now how would you define that uh, yes this is solid, this is liquid, this is gas. Suppose see this chalk piece, tell me what type of state it is. Yes you are correct. It is solid state. If you take water, which state it is? Liquid state. You are you're breathing. What you are breathing? Air. It is gaseous state. So do you have only these three types of materials? Solid, liquid, gas? Or do you have any other types of substances in the life? Yes, we have huge, huge amount of materials. Many different types of materials we have existing in solid, liquid, gas like table, wood, chair, all it comes into solid state. Liquid state, water, petrol, oil, any other states of liquid you know. Gas, apart from air, or inside the air, we have oxygen gas, nitrogen gas. In, in the laboratories also, we can create so many types of gases. So, in that way, we have many different types of solids, liquids and gases.